Hey guys. All right, I think this one's working. This whole streaming thing kind of got really messed up really quickly. So I hope that folks can actually hear me now. How about that? Is is any of this coming through? I I think YouTube went a little bit weird. But we can still try and make things work. So if anyone is in the chat and if you can hear me, then if you can let me know that this is actually working, that would be terrific. Oh, I'm not just talking to myself. Hey, it looks like we're winning now. Okay, I think I made a mistake where like I tried to set up the stream and then cancel the stream and then do a new one. And then YouTube was like, what's that? You 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 want to do two streams at the same time? I'm like, no, 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 just I oh YouTube, you're killing me. But it's okay. <laughs> it was a little bit stressful for a split second, but we're all right. Let me just uh get some equipment here. Oh, I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit so that we can actually get a better view. All right. Okay, we're working. My goodness, what a palaver. What a what <laughs> what a shocking display that was on my part. All right, let's try and do this now because we have, oh my goodness, finally finally got the, the bad guys waved. This took so long to get, and it's not the fault of the suppliers. Even after about two years of collecting now, I still am learning new things. Like I always assumed that when a supplier, an online supplier gets their inventory, gets their stock delivered, like that's it. They get the full delivery and then they send them out but that is obviously not the case. They get some of their orders in and not all of them though. So whoever orders first, rightly so, gets their orders fulfilled. And then people like myself who were Johnny come lately's and ordered at the last minute, they got to wait until the supplier gets restocked and then restocked again and then restocked again until finally they get to me. So that was why I had to wait so long for the villains. And that was a little bit frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating when I was seeing everyone else, not just in the US, but in the UK, opening up their villains wave. I was like, come on, son. You kidding me? I just want to open up my villains. But we got them now. So I grabbed the first one from the box, which is actually one of my most anticipated figures. We've got Arcade here. And I've been really looking forward to popping open Arcade because when you're talking classic, this dude's classic right here. So we're going to well, actually first take a little look at the, at the box there. Some very pretty, very pretty artwork. We can see everyone listed at the bottom there. And of course, we got Zenmu, who you can put together, and the nice artwork on the side there. I have no idea who that artist is. Sword, why do you hate Arcade so much? Arcade's kind of a cool villain, isn't he? If you don't like Arcade, maybe you could try reading Avengers Arena because that's a cool story that features him. All right, let me slice with the old fish knife here. <laughs> it's funny, my mum walked into this room a while ago and she was like, oh, my fish knife, I've been looking for that. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, I've been using it to open toys for the last two years. It's so ridiculous that <laughs> ever since I've moved back home because of everything that's happening. I've just turned into a complete teenage kid again. It's like, Mom, stop messing up my toys. I'm trying to do a live stream. Gosh, jeez. All right, so you know what? I'm getting better. Look, look at this. Look at this. This this would almost kill me to do before. I'm getting rid of boxes. Now, tell me that wasn't satisfying. All right, that just felt so good. I don't need the clutter. They don't actually add to the value of these regular figures. I find maybe some folks, uh, big box collectors, I don't give a monkeys. All right, so here we have the first of many figures we're gonna be popping open here. You can tell how hot it is because I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> it's like, I need all the air to be able to escape and to circulate. And like, I've even got, a fan down here just to try and keep me as cool as possible. 
All right, there we go. So let's take a little look here. As we always say, let's get that plas plastic crack. Oh, I can't even say it myself. Let's get that plastic crack. Ah, oh, there he goes. And here is Arcade out of the packaging. And yeah, oh, oh he's good. It's good. Marvel Legends were, I was kind of falling out of love a bit with Marvel Legends just because it had been such a long time since I had anything to get excited about because the Stiltman wave way back at the start of the year didn't really do anything for me. I sold the Spider-Verse figures. I only kept Stiltman. That was it. Then there was the House of X. I hated House of X. I bought it, stared at them for a bit, and I was like, nope. Time to sell them. But finally, finally, I've got some figures that I'm excited for. And this is great. This is like, oh, this is reminding me why I, I love Marvel Legends. And look, this is a really nice suited body. Now, of course, because he's a smaller figure, he doesn't have quite the same sort of detail as like the Kingpin does. Because the first thing I looked for was to see if the jacket was separate from the waistcoat. And it's not. And that's fine because, again, you wouldn't necessarily expect that with a smaller figure. But I was still tempted to try and look. But I also do really like his his platform shoes as well. They're fun and funky. And oh, just, you know what? Also, I got to make a big apology as well. I did the whole kind of experimenting with McFarlane DC characters. And look, we all do a bit of experimenting in our lives, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to get rid of them. I don't I, I I tried to bond with them, but I can't. I was really in into like getting this other line and moving into this other other things, but I just I just don't love DC and it's just not the same. And then I'm holding this this beautiful little guy in my hand, and I'm like, yeah. This is actually what it's all about. This is this is where the love is. This is where the power lies, brother. So yeah, I'm gonna be selling my my uh, McFarlane DC figures because I'm just not feeling it. And if they don't spark joy, then they gotta go. And especially because like we just paid for Galactus, so <laughs> we need <laughs> we need to uh, free up some capital, if you know what I'm saying. So let's have a look at the other head here. We're going to... Oh, that just popped off so easily. It's so nice when these things actually do what they're supposed to. That's the one good thing about it being disgustingly hot in here is that the uh, the joints can all pop in and out quite easily. So hopefully the Zenmu bath should be easy to assemble. So let's put the freaky long head, modern head on there. Sorry, I'm just dropping everything. That's a cool design there. And as some very smart, astute person mentioned, this would work well for Cletus Cassidy as well. Although I do have I do have the Monster Venom Cletus head, which is just absolutely perfect. So that that's great. But yeah, look at this. You see, I think this head is better. I prefer this, but I'll go with the classic because this is to Jesse Eisenberg. And it's too many bad memories of bad films to have on my shelf. Hey, Brad dude, would be like me buying a WWE Adam Cole figure. <laughs> Not going to happen, even though he's a great guy. Exactly. Although, even though he is a shill. But then again, there's nothing wrong with being a shill. I would be a shill, but no one wants to pay me for it. So I'll just shill myself. But yeah, so far, this is a really strong start. I'm going to go with the classic look which is kind of a shame because that cool looking head probably won't be used for anything, but he does look really good. So I do like this head, but just don't really have a use for it, I don't think. I'm going to pop him there. I love the green, just the, the glowing, evil, radioactive looking green. That's really cool. So we, we also have some accessories as well. Well, we have one other accessory which is his cane, which looks a little bit bent. I'm not sure why that got bent in the packaging, but again, wow, it's so it's so hot. It's so ridiculously hot, everything's really bendy. <laughs> so it's not a problem to get this back into shape. So the cane can go in his hand. And his, his other hand, I kind of like that it's, that's a decent, relaxed kind of pose. 
because it, it annoys me when people have relaxed hands that like like the women in particular why do the women all have this hand what what's what's this doing like why why is a woman holding her hand like like this similarly with, with like and then this why why are they why are they doing this that that's weird whereas this this is a really decent relaxed hand that's how i would like to think that i hold my hand when i'm just standing around so speaking of standing around let me see if i can actually get oh look at that stands perfectly ah um there we go ta da Although I say that, <laughs> I now can't get him to, oh, there you go. So that's pretty cool. And there he goes. There we are. <laughs> Sword in the storm. Uh, the chat window just asked me to okay your comment because I think it thought that you were saying, God, I hate women. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. He said, God, I hate women's hands as in Hasbro. I think sometimes the the algorithm that checks people's chats is a little bit too paranoid. I don't I don't have to censor many things on here. People are generally lovely. So there we go. Uh, you'll just be able to see Arcade's head peeking up over the top here. Although, I mean, he's testing me to see if he actually will stand well. There you go. I just had to lean him forward a little bit. <laughs> the CIA would use David's interrogations in the heat of death. Yeah, man, it, it is... As Brad would say, it is sodding hot up here. It's it's rough. <laughs> I, I am sweating like someone being interrogated by the CIA. But, you know, in a fun way. Luckily, though, I have, uh, I have some water. So we can survive. Although, or like so many of you discover my figures are toppling over because they're all kind of top heavy. At least some of them who I know suffer from this, I've put in the correct positions like Iceman. Iceman is kneeling. You better believe Iceman is not standing. I love the plastic that Iceman is made of, but it's so gummy that even in good conditions, he will still fall over. But all right, that's one figure done. And we have... A Zenmu foot, which at first glance is almost identical to uh, Wendigo, but at least he has cute, very cute little three-toed teddy bear type paws, which let's face it, it's adorable. So those are really cute. And that's one figure down. And what's also great about this wave is it's a generous wave. We get seven figures plus the builder figure. So you get your money's worth. Right. Let's see who we've got next. I'm reaching in at random. <laughs> they are Muppet feet. Yes, absolutely. And oh, a possible star of the line, the Red Skull. So many people have been telling me that this dude is like the bomb. This is the one that people have been looking forward to. And rightly so, because I don't have any other Red Skulls. So finally, this is my first Red Skull. And that's long overdue because the dude's a heavy hitter. He's a Big deal. I don't even have to have the Red Skull head for the Onslaught Builder figure. So this is first representation of Red Skull here. Along with the Zenmu head, we've got some creepy Cosmic Cube Red Skull artwork on the back and the sides as well. Let's crack him open and see what Johann Schmidt is like in hand. But uh, I'm willing to guess he's going to be pretty damn cool in hand because... As much as we don't like Nazis here on Displaying Model Behavior, we do like their action figures because they make great villains. That was always the best thing about Nazis, was you could always make them the villains and no one cares because they're Nazis. Also, again, this is fun. Not keeping the boxes. It feels good not to be weighed down by these things. So here he is, and oh man. He looks so cool. Check him out in his carbonite prison. It's badass. That's real badass. Let's get that plastic crack. Ooh, ah. Satisfying, baby. <laughs> All right, let's just... Oh, wow, he's, he's kind of bigger. He's kind of chunkier than I was expecting. Oh, Brad, dude, we got to take, take a look at the Muppets. The Palisades Muppets, those, those are going to be nice figures. But yeah, he's he's bigger than I thought he would be. Let me, I can reach my Captain America from here. Hang on. Let me just do it. Because you've got to see 
Red Skull next to Captain America. And here they are. Look how great these look as two bookends. That's just brilliant. We have been waiting way too long. And yes, Sword in the Storm, you're right. I forgot that uh, this is a cloned Captain America body. Uh, America's knee looks kind of funny there. He's a bit bent out of shape. But still, these two guys, like locking horns with each other, that's awesome. That's just like kind of like you say, Richard, like a fine wine. He he pairs well. It's like this is this is the wine, this is the cheese. They pair really well together. Or like like, like, a, like a good tag team, you know, like a Bret Hart and a Jim Neidhart kind of thing. But the skull, the details on the skull, they look great. There's some wonderful look. Yeah, that, that's it. Look, look like the the indentation on in the side of the head there. The teeth are way too white. That's a shame. If I was a customizer, then I would put like a little bit of a wash or some yellow or just something to make the teeth look a bit nastier because that's a bit of a shame that they're so like that's the red skull. That that's not a good look. I'm sorry, but just it's not. So <laughs> this is this is much much better. But he's got the Hydra logo on the side there as well. That's really nice. I, I'm torn as to which head to use because the other head isn't as exciting, but it does look better, but it's not as interesting. It doesn't jump off the shelf. So I'm going to pop this out. Come on. Hang on. We've got the Cosmic Cube as well. Wow. As far as accessories go, this is terrific. This is like well done Hasbro. This is brilliant. Got three pairs of hands, we've got a cosmic cube, we've got two heads, we've got the builder figure piece and a gun. Like that is value for money. That feels good. It feels good to spend money on this. Like, well done, guys. Well done. Teeth based on Bill Paxton and True Lies. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, his head is difficult to get out. Gosh, it's really wedged in. Hang on, I might need to tackle this another way. Okay, well, we've got his little um, machine pistol out there. Again, with a Hydra logo. This is, I wasn't expecting a Hydra logo. There's so much good stuff here. They've really, like, I, people say that I complain about Hasbro, but I only complain when they're doing bad things. Like, when they're doing good things, I'm like, I'm going to stamp my feet and light a match for these guys because they do great work. This is great. And it's funny because, like, if they if they'd like sent me this to review as like a promotion thing, I would have been singing their praises and saying like, "Oh, this is a, an amazing figure," and then people would have been like, "Oh, displaying model behavior only shills for Hasbro," and it's like, no. Sometimes people people will will get freebies and they'll say that it's good because it's really good. I mean, if if they sent me like some garbage figure, then 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 there would be words. I'll just take the hands out because he's got so many different hands as well. This might take like a little while because every figure has so much going on. And I think <laughs> because it's so hot up here, the, the plastic clamshell is kind of morphing around all the accessories and I can't, I can't dig them out. It's very difficult. There we go. There's the Zenmu head as well. So there's Zenmu with the big red eyes looking kind of cute like a viking santa claus with a bit of an abominable snowman but if anyone has read the immortal hulk story with zenmu oh that's weird freaky nasty stuff and if you know me then you know i love weird freaky nasty stuff and that's really cool so here we go i'm going to put the less exciting but arguably better head on Red Skull. And yeah, you see, it's not as exciting, but it looks so much better. And also, this is new neck articulation. We've got like a very different, this this joint in the neck is very different to what we've had before. And I dig it. Like, things are moving up. It seems like Hasbro's style, I don't know, like their, their techniques and whatnot. There's some Big changes, which I am I am digging. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to sell those McFarlane's that I was experimenting with and then humbly apologize to the Hasbro gods and just start buying the heck out of Marvel Legends again because this wave right here is winning me the heck over. 
<laughs> yeah, Brad, my uh, my kebab choices alone will tell you that uh, I'm kind of a gnarly kind of guy when it comes to that sort of taste. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is crazy. How how can this come from the same company that made the House of X wave? How how does that work? How does the company that gave us Marvel Girl, all right, give us this for the same price? See, that's what just blows my mind. And that's why I get frustrated with Hasbro sometimes, because it's like, you guys can do so good. You guys are killing it. So keep doing the good stuff because you know how to do it. This Red Skull is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Next to Captain America. Oh, yeah. Spooge McDuck. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I love this Red Skull. Of course, the big test is how well does he stand? Ah, oh, look at that. That's it. It's over. Call it now. Look at that. He, he stood first time. It's like when Alan Partridge found out that, that the table was an extender. I love this house. So yeah, Red Skull, absolutely incredible with uh, Arcade here as well. Arcade's not so easy to stand, but that might just be because I need to shuffle his feet around a little bit. There you go. Let's see if he actually holds that position. Both of these guys. Yeah, I'm just going to keep jogging him. But that's they're both of them are fantastic. But Red Skull is just gorgeous. I absolutely love this dude. Okay, we're 20 minutes in. We've done two figures, so we're doing okay. And again, I have so many Red Skull hands here now. They're just going to go straight into the hand box, the hand fodder box. And again, with this head... I don't know, maybe I can find a use for this head. I'm not sure, but it does look cool. But again, the, the teeth are too... Arr, too Bill Paxton in True Lies. Right, let's take a look at what's next. It's a mystery to me as well. I'm going to reach in and pull out... Oh, Aim Scientist Supreme. Probably my least anticipated figure because... Well, at least I have MODOK now. So that's good. I was going to say I don't have any aim figures, but I got Modoc. So this actually kind of works. This is okay. But I didn't want to start army building. But now the more, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I really need to get a couple of aim troopers. But the thing is, aim troopers are quite expensive now, and there's there's only so much that you can spend your money on. That that's that's the thing. Um, I, I occasionally you have to like just draw the line, and so it might just be. Aim, Scientist, Supreme, and MODOK. Just, just those two guys together, that will be my aim, all right? And then we can pretend that they have some AIM scientists who are backing them up, but uh, actually they're, they're, just, they're just a little bit lonely. But that's fine, that's fine. So the artwork on the back is quite nice. It's sort of what I would call generic modern comic book art. Like, I don't look at it and go, oh, that's clearly so-and-so's artwork. It's just generic, pretty functional it's functional comic book artwork and that's all you need sometimes i'm a relatively functional youtuber so it's all comparative right let's get the scientist out oh it's a bit difficult to there we go i was struggling there i had a little bit of performance anxiety so let's slide him on out of the box i tell you what the next one i open i'm going to check which one it is because i want to get the zemnu torso so we can start building this guy but here is the Scientist Supreme in his Carbonite prison. And again, kind of like Red Skull, he is actually chunkier than I was expecting. And this is good. The chunk is appreciated. So we're going to pop him out. There we go. So much plastic crack on this show. And here is the Scientist Supreme. And initial thoughts are a bit tacky. Feels a bit, feels a bit cheap. Feels a bit tacky. Feels a bit plasticky. I don't. I don't hate him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not like talking too much trash. I am talking some trash. But maybe it's because you know that there's no there's no human features. There's no face or anything. So there's very little room to give detail. You know what I might do actually? Maybe can you pop his head off easily enough? Yeah. I'm thinking the hood. The hood head could go on here and he can be holding his beekeeper helmet. That would work because no one actually uses the hood head for the hood. That's ridiculous. Who would do that? 
I'm going to be using the Demo Goblin head for the hood. That's going to look amazing. But yeah, I think because there's just so much armor, there's nothing to really shade or put detail on. And that just means that it just looks a bit like a chunk of plastic. But at least he does have a nice belt around the middle, which of course is a separate piece. So that's kind of nice. There's some good stuff. I like the detailing on his gloves as well. But generally, I'm not overly fussed about this guy, which I was not expecting to be either. So kind of adds up. I do like, I do like his iPad, his science chart type thing here. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit. So I think that when I actually get this guy posed properly, I'll have him with his chart in one hand. I'll have the hood head on his shoulders and his other hand will be carrying his beekeeper helmet. And probably people who know actual stories about AIM characters will be like, the scientist supreme would never be doing any of those things, Dave. And I'll be like, well, that's okay. But you must also bear in mind, shut up. Because I like it like that. Come on, baby. I like it like that. At least he stands up. So as far as the standing stakes go, he's beating Arcade. But then as far as the everything else stakes go, Arcade is still the winner. But he's not the best because Red Skull is just... Red Skull's killing it. I I love this evil Nazi dude. He's, he's just fantastic. All right. So we have the Zemnu arm now as well. Again, with the cute, fluffy little fingers there. He is an adorable guy. So I will chuck this. All right. Now I'm going to see which figure has the Zemnu body because we got to start assembling this guy. We got to start putting him together. Oh, and I'm, because I'm doing all this figure stuff, I'm really, really sorry if I miss some writing in, in, in the chat. That's I'm trying to multitask, but anyone who knows me knows that I'm terrible at multitasking. So I'm trying to keep up with the chat as best I can do, but I'm not ignoring you. I'm just bad at doing stuff. Right, who has... Ah, perfect. The next the next character I chose has the Zem new body. So we have Lady Deathstrike. And this is one that I have been anticipating. I've been looking forward to Deathstrike for a while. I've got the two Reavers. I've got Skullbuster and... Reese? Is it Reese? Yeah, Skullbuster and Reese. So she's going to go fantastically with them. So that's going to look great on my... Wolverine shelf. And no, I'm not ignoring you, Linux. <laughs> I'm just missing a lot of chats. <laughs> so yeah, I do have my dedicated Wolverine shelf, which I wasn't planning to build, but there are just so many characters who I'm like, I don't know where to put you. And then I figure, oh, wait, you're kind of a Wolverine villain. We're going to make a Wolverine shelf. So yeah, let's get Lady Deathstrike out of here. Again, this is this artwork is a, a bit more distinct. This looks a bit more like Andy Kubert type artwork. I don't think it is. I don't think it is Andy Kubert, but it looks a little bit like Andy Kubert. But maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just going slightly mad. Oh, I haven't been reading the write-ups either. What does it say? With adamantium infused bones and cyber genetic enhancements, Yuriko Oyama pursues a ruthless vendetta against the X-Men and Wolverine in particular. Well, that sounds about right. They got their facts straight. Although now she's pretty much... Uh, is she a tweener? She's she's more of a tweener than a villain. Well, actually, like, all X-Men characters are sort of tweeners now, now that they're doing the stupid Krakoa thing where they're just giving amnesty to everyone, which I kind of get from a storyline perspective, but I could wax lyrical about how I just don't dig the current X-Men. All right, now, the problem... The problem with having such a great figure like Red Skull is that it looks really bad when you have a character with no accessories or anything. Yes, she has a big bath piece, but that's it. And a character like Deathstrike is someone who would really benefit from having more accessories because she's got the clawed fingers, which are great. And in fairness, we would display her with the clawed fingers anyway, but it'd be nice if she had regular hands as well that you have like retracting. So one normal, one extended. And she has a very plain face. And really a character like Deathstrike, you would want more of a ah, kind of face. But I also appreciate that the whole point with Marvel Legends is you don't judge them by individual figures. You judge them by the wave as a whole. That's that's the whole point. That's how they budget it. That's how they justify it and crunch the numbers. So 
I get it. All right, here is the Zenmu torso. And not much going on with it, just white and fluffy with a big belt, but that's all Zenmu needs to be. So let's pop Deathstrike out, make sure that we don't spill any of her accessories. Well, that was easy. And here she is. And you know what? She's okay. She's not great, but she's okay. And sometimes okay is okay. And absolutely, we do need a new Dakin. So, uh, yes, Diego, we've opened the Scientist Supreme. He is right over Nya. And so far, he's the least favorite of the bunch. But I do like the fact that he's big. He's kind of big, kind of chunky, and that's cool. Lady Deathstrike, because she's a female form, that's always going to be a smaller figure. And I understand that that, you know, if you made her big and chunky, that wouldn't look right. But I always have, have a problem with a lot of the female figures. They feel kind of spindly and just like not worth the price. But here, she feels like there's a bit more to her. And that's cool. I feel like we're getting a bit more bang for our buck here. I got to say, I got to say, the hands are lovely. The hands with the shirt as well, the ruffled shirt, that looks terrific. The nails with the cyber enhancements going down there, that's really, really cool. So I don't have a problem with that. That's absolutely fine. So that is that is in itself pretty great. But also, I'm not a huge fan of how plain the brown in her costume is. There's no shading or anything. That, again, gives it a bit more of a plasticky kind of feel, which is, is a bit of a shame because there are, there's other good stuff. Her head sculpt is nice, but it's only nice. Her expression, this is the kind of expression that would really lend itself to changeable heads, because this is a great neutral expression. I think it works really well. The The face looks nice. It looks feminine, but also kind of badass. It works. That's a good face, but it's kind of bored. You know, she's got her claws not retracted. What's the opposite of retracted? Extended, I guess. She's got her claws extended. She's ready for battle, but she doesn't look that excited about being ready for battle. She's like, well... I guess I'm going to fight people now. And that's a bit of a shame. I would much prefer a more intense kind of ah, kind of look. But, you know, we can't have it have everything. She she looks, it, 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 to be fair, to be fair, and, you know, I can be fair on occasion. It's more of a martial arts type expression. So that does make sense. She's, she's of Japanese descent. So she's ready for battle. And it's more of a samurai kind of like just about to enter into combat. So... That's the head cannon. That's the head cannon I'll go with for that. Uh, it's I like having them in kind of a crouched sort of stance, but that's going to be really difficult to stand up. And I think I might struggle. I've managed to get her. I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick her up. She's a little bit underneath. Let me just move that down so you can see her. That kind of works. You're looking down both our tops. But besides that, that's cool. I, I think she will probably be falling over, but... It's fine. But let's let's crack some pieces of uh, Zemnu together. So we've got a right arm here. Let's see how easily they fit into, into place. Oh, well, that was easy enough. It's the legs normally. The, the legs are the ones that you need to shimmy and jimmy a bit. I think this is the... Oh, gosh. Is there a letter or something on the back here? I can't tell. This 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 is a toe. This must be his right leg, I think. Is it, Does somewhere say a letter? This says... Hasbro S A. That's not helpful. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go with this being. Gosh, I really can't tell. Any any suggestions? Left foot, right foot. I think this is the right foot, but I'm really struggling here. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the right foot because I, I think this is is a big toe. But it's uh, a bit of a tough call. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That that fit in so easily. That was just. That was perfect. I just went just like that. And yeah, the the, mus the musculature all lines up. The, the quadricep lines up. So yeah, that was the right. And it's in the peg hole, Lennox. Thank you. It's in the peg hole. <laughs> Alexander, I don't think Hasbro are going to include the middle foot, if you know what I'm saying. Right. Just need another little swig of water. Sip of water for the working man. Hmm. If this was vodka, you'd think I was Bobby Heenan. Oh, 
Wow, that was some dead air there. Terrible, terrible live streaming. Right, we're about halfway through, guys. We're about halfway through. We're about half an hour in. I'm digging this. Okay, so, <laughs> swig of vodka over here. <laughs> All right, we got three more figures to go and the bath. Oh, also, I'm, I'm always interested to see what comics, what newspaper comics and cocktails have packed my figures with. So, oh, the Metro. Metro's all right. If they if they had done it with like the Sun or the Daily Mail, I'd have been like, Ugh, why are you contaminating my figures with that garbage? But the Metro, Metro's cool. Oh, it's the hood. Oh, ho, ho. everyone's figure of the year. I'm so excited for this guy. People were being negative on him, and I understand that. But at the same time, also just from a character perspective. I'm a huge fan of the hood. I have I have always really loved the character of the hood because he's a dude who is punching above his weight. And I love villains who punch above their weight. He is just a crook. He's a, he's a, a, a gangster mobster crook who just happens to have found this incredibly powerful and dangerous artifact. And yeah, he's the meme figure. But I, I, although it is really annoying because like, take a look at the face. Take a look at the picture on the box and then take a look at the head. One of these things is not like the other. It's like, come on, Hasbro, you weren't even trying with that. But it's okay because I'm going to use... There's a few different heads I can use, actually. I'm going to do a proper, like, official review video. So I'll show you all the heads that I'll, I'll use then. Which means you got to come back. And you gotta watch another video. That's how I get you. And then you gotta subscribe to the Patreon and you gotta pay for the super chats. And then I can retire. Thing is, I couldn't retire because any money I make, I would just buy more toys with. <laughs> I'll just keep working forever so that I can buy more toys. Thus is the way of the world. Sunrise, sunset. Oh, and the back of the box says, a chance encounter with a demon gives petty thief Parker Robbins, I like that name, Parker Robbins, a mystical cloak and transforms him into a true criminal menace. Sure does. He was even part of Norman Osborn's Dark Illuminati. All right. Should I bat this away again? It's fun doing that. Okay. I like this guy already. Check out. Shouty, shouty hood, the, the action figure meme right there. And already, like, gosh, Hasbro, Hasbro's photography team really screwed the pooch because in his clamshell, the hood sits fine. That's how it's supposed to look. It was only in the pictures when the hood was touching the floor, but his feet weren't, that it was so elevated over his head. As long as you have him in a flight stand, then... He's going to look great. Like this, it looks great because the plastic clamshell is stopping the hood from riding up. That fits perfectly. Yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is put him in a, in a flight stand. So it doesn't matter that the cloak hits the ground. Right, again, decent accessories as well. Going back more more, more Red Skull and less uh, Lady, Death, Lady Deathstrike. So let's get his pistols out. Also, that's another thing. Unlike McFarlane DC... Hasbro are allowed to include guns. Thank goodness. Although, you know, if Hasbro ever stopped doing guns, then there are tons of third-party guns that you can buy. So it's it's not a problem, but it would just be a shame. And I know that a lot of people have rightly been immaturely sniggering at these accessories. You've been making fun of them. You've been implying that they look like something other than magic bullets. And I think you need to grow up, quite frankly. It's despicable. Is this the kind of humor that I encourage on model behavior? Yes. Yes, it is. It, it looks like a thingy. <laughs> and it's very funny. How did this ever make it past? How? How did this make it past the, the testing stage? Was it because everyone... I think it's because everyone at Hasbro wanted to look like they were mature. So no one wanted to say, guys, is it just me who thinks these look a bit like a thingy? There you go. 
And thus we got the Hood's Bullet. So we got another Zamnu leg, but most importantly, we got the Hood. <laughs> a ding dong gun. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's uh, the ding dong gun. I think we should need it. We should get an Orgasmo figure. If anyone's seen the movie Orgasmo, because clearly that should be the superhero supervillain pairing. Right. I hate. I I know it makes sense. They they need to do it, but I hate that they feed the cloaks through the back because it always feels like you're scraping them and scratching them to get them out. Ah, there we go. That was traumatic. But I see. And this. This is how he looks in all the pictures. And the pictures look awful. But then all you gotta do is do that. And that look that looks fine. I mean, again, the face is still stupid. Is it's a, it's a stupid face, but that still is is better. You know what? I, I don't wanna wait. I wanna see if I can put the demo goblin head on here. If I duck out of shot, is everyone just gonna leave? <laughs> Please, please don't leave. I got, I got my accessories right here. I'm still, I'm still doing a live stream. Don't worry, Ray. stay with me. We're here, we're here. <laughs> okay. 88, I think someone left, but all right. So we have the Demo Goblin head. And now what we would need to do is, uh, you, um, okay, so you, you would need to actually remove the head from its from its actual hood so that you can use the hood hood but that is pretty freaking cool tell me that's not badass that looks so much better so then you'll have something more more akin to this now that's the more demonic looking hood right there and that's pretty cool so yeah you'd have to remove the hobgoblin hood to make it work properly but that's great. And again, that's what I love. Uh, again, I love I love like body horror. Body horror is freaky and badass. So, and that's what the hood is. Like he's being over taken over by this demon. I also have the Toy Biz Demo Goblin, or Toy Biz Hobgoblin. Let me just grab him. Because that's going to be a fun head swap as well. So he's in the bottom of my accessories drawer here. Here we go. Now I think this head might be a little bit, a little bit too big. I mean, this old, this old Toy Biz Hobgoblin is really cool. I I love this guy. It, it goes to show that, you know, we do love our Marvel Legends, but man, they were making some good figures back in the day. The problem with the figures back in the day though, was that there was no consistency. You would just get a random bunch of figures and like one or two would be amazing. And then they wouldn't recreate that style. Ah, uh, right. I'm not sure. Like, I mean, here's the head. And the head looks great, but I'm not sure if I can actually pop it off without damaging it. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Oh, yeah, I broke it. Okay, but that's fine. Because <laughs> now we can sort of... It would take uh, a little bit of dremeling. You need to, to dremel it, but that would be the demon face. And actually... That's pretty cool. So yeah, I would need to uh, dremel out the top of that. But already, as a hood demon, let me just see if I can fudge this together. There is fudging involved. The, the ears get in the way a little bit. But that, <laughs> if you'll allow me, is kind of cool. We'll need to we'll need to do some serious playing around, but on the whole, I mean, it's it's better than human shouty head, and that's that's kind of fun. I dig that. Oh yeah, dude, I broke the figure, but he's been sat in my fodder box for years. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing with that. I only bought him for the badass goblin glider that the hobgoblin's on, and the figure was just extra. But yeah, that's that's terrific. I really, really like the hood. Man, I am making I'm making a mess. <laughs> I'm making a big old mess here. So let's just put the normal head, the normal hood head on, just so we can keep it all together. And we'll we'll give him his ridiculous guns. Because even though they do look very, very stupid. Oh, 
dude, I I could have sold it, but you can you can buy that figure on eBay for like ten bucks. It's it's not it's not worth like a crazy amount of money or anything. And trust me, like people can people can find them quite easily. Oh, I see the 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 flash bang goes on here. That makes sense. And then we can do this one here, like so. Yes, the the pleasure guns, if you will. So there we go, one there. I tell you what, it's so much easier doing this in an incredibly hot room because the hands just, you don't have to dip them in water or anything. It makes life a heck of a lot easier. There we go. And I, I do love it when trigger fingers actually fit into triggers. <laughs> so crazy. So there he is. I mean, already we've been playing with this figure longer than we have anything else. He's providing so much more fun. Yeah, the, the, sci the Hydra Scientist Supreme did not get a look in as long as this. But it's actually difficult to, to pose properly because it is so hot. This plastic is really soft. But that's kind of fun. And then I'll have his feet sort of angled up like he's going to be levitating in the air because that's what the hood does. Although his, his right leg, sorry, his left leg is actually, it doesn't, it doesn't bend. It's kind of stuck. That's surprising. I don't know if that's a little defect or I mean like the the plastic bends, but it doesn't bend in the socket. Ah, I'm not too sure about that. Well, I'll I'll play around with that later and see if I can loosen that up or get that to work. But then with the hood on there, in a in a flight stand, that's gonna look cool. I'm actually happy with that. I think he might be a lot of people's figure of the year. Like ge genuinely, not not kidding. He might be a joke entry. I think it's going to be really interesting when I do the model behavior votes. And when I, when I take it to the people and I ask you guys, what is the figure of the year? I think the hood is going to do extremely well. Because also, to be honest, like who else is in the running right now? Well, I suppose Modoc is a good a good choice for figure of the year. But this guy... This is a lot of fun. I'm I'm really, really down with this. This is great. Okay, we need to start to wrap this up now because I'm, I'm dying of heat stroke. But let's pop on the uh, other leg of Zemnu. This one is a little bit stiffer. There we go. And as you would expect with a builder figure, he's a big, chunky boy. And that's what we like to see. So it comes as no surprise to anyone. I mean, people have been playing with these figures for weeks, nay, months now. I'm like the last person to the party here, but I can still safely say that these are fantastic. So now we have the one figure without a builder figure piece. We have God Doom, which is probably, probably the least anticipated figure for me because I already have two Dooms. And that's one more Doom than anyone actually really needs. So having having a third Doom, I'm like, come on, guys. You're just kind of filling out the wave here. This could have been Onslaught. Not Onslaught. What am I saying? Ultron. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. But still, on the back it says, From the wreckage of colliding universes, Doctor Doom emerges as the supreme ruler a new domain of a new domain known as Battle World. That's why I don't do speaking books because I would just get it wrong all the time. But again, like I was saying before, it's functional. Functional comic book artwork there. Nothing overly exciting, but it does the job. It's like, bosh, does the job. Wham, there you go. Picture of doom. You want anything else? Of course you don't. Got everything. All right, let's crack this fella open. Ah, come on, yeah. It's always, do you, do you guys find these tabs can be really difficult to get out sometimes, especially when you're trying not to damage the boxes? All right, and all right, there he is in his little plastic prison. And ah, oh, again, again with the cape going through the back there. All right. Uh, all right, sorry, I just got a. Text message is ridiculous as, as this is, and I need to get back to this very quickly to help someone out. Um, 
because I'm a nice guy and someone's asked me if I can work. Hi, mate. I really, really don't want to. <laughs> really, really don't want to. <laughs> to, but I have to because we all got to get paid because we all got to afford that Haslab Galactus. Am I right or am I right? I may, I really, I really don't want to, but I will. If you are working and it helps you out, helps you out. Okay. <laughs> Where were we? Back to God Doom. And he is fine, but that's about it. I, if I'm going to sell any of the figures from this wave, I'm probably not going to keep this guy. Or more to the point, if I'm going to sell any figures from this wave, it'll be this one. Because I've got two classic Dooms, and we don't really need another Doom. Because also, this is from the Secret Wars story, the modern Secret Wars story. And that's actually it's one of my favorite modern stories. It's a really, really cool, cool story. But I just don't need another Doom. And, like... <laughs> He's, he just looks kind of weird with his, his gloves, with his hands splayed out like that. I just, I don't know. He feels superfluous. He feels like an extra figure. They were like, well, what can we repaint to just throw in the line? And that's a shame. He's he's a weak addition. We've got lots of other, I mean, like, it's kind of funny. I mean, I know it's just like the style, but this is God's doom. Like literally he has the power of a God. But he does have a pistol as well. Because I don't care how godlike your powers are. It's always useful to have a gun, just in case. Because you never know. You never know. What is nice, though, and does slightly save it, is the Thanos skull. This is very, very cool. Wow, he's surprised as well. Oh, my God. So that's great. That kind of, that kind of helps him out a bit. And... Uh, you're asking, how is, that, how is the new Maestro? I cancelled my pre-order of the Maestro, and now I'm kind of regretting it, and I think, should I get the Maestro? I, I think I want a better Maestro. I want a Maestro with boots for a start, not just the bare feet again. But yeah, he's definitely, this Doom is definitely a peg warmer. But, you know, I, I, I might keep hold of him, maybe. Sorry, I dropped one of his hands. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him a chance. I'll, I'll let him stay on the shelf. I'll let him stay on the shelf and we'll just... Oh, is Maestro awful? Why is Maestro so awful? Is it just because he's such a lazy repaint? Because they could have they could have so easily just put the Juggernaut... Where's Juggernaut? Yeah. They could have so easily just put the Juggernaut boots on him and that would have looked like the proper Maestro. But they just didn't. They just went for the most boring of repaints with a different head. And it's like, guys, really? Really, you're trying to separate us from our money that lazily? Come on, we've got to make you work a little bit. Oh, Mark, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Imagine the ding dong that got Emperor Doom fires. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, actually. That if if God Emperor Doom had the hoods ding dong pistols, that would be quite explosive. Actually, if you will permit me to elaborate on this, if anyone has ever read astonishing x-men the joss whedon astonishing x-men can you cast your mind back you remember joss whedon's astonishing x-men it was it was quite good at the end of it this this alien planet fires a bullet at planet earth like the size of a bullet big enough to destroy the earth that's what god doom's ding dong bullet would look like now, that's a big bullet and that was a cool story as well that was that was when like kitty pride kind of died at the end, but obviously she didn't die at the end because she's still alive. But she kind of sort of sacrificed herself by uh she couldn't she couldn't dismantle the bullet. So she kind of like phased it through the earth. But because it was so massive, it like just she she just phased herself away into oblivion. But you know, she got better. Actually, does anyone know how Kitty Pride came back? Because I have no idea. I just know that don't know that she reappeared. Okay, now that we've got now that we've got kind of the the clenched fist and the Thanos head, it looks a bit cooler, obviously, because he's carrying Thanos's like that, that that's full on Mortal Kombat style. 
Actually, let, let me ask you. Hang on a second. Can I do this without knocking anything over? How about that? Who wore it better? It's like if these guys both turned up to a party, one of them's going to have to go home and get changed because that would just be embarrassing. It's like, oh, my God, I can't believe we brought the same severed skull. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't we RSVP who was wearing what? I got to say though, I give Hasbro a lot of props for going with the uh, the terrifying s severed skull, but at the same time, Mortal Kombat definitely went a bit gnarlier with the the tailbone at the bottom and the red blood all over it. But that is still pretty cool. Yeah, Sub Zero, Sub Zero wins flawless victory. Actually, they do look quite similar. Doom's got the skirt. Sub Zero's got the little little um, modesty towel. I, I I love these storm figures. Storm figures are so gorgeous. That's what why my brain went, Dave. Why are you why are you spending money on Mortal on um, McFarlane figures when you could use that money to buy storm figures? Come on, I gotta say, I'm even tempted. I'm even tempted to sell the old Necker turtles as well. I've enjoyed them, but again, now that I've kind of essentially kind of completed the collection as such i'm like i think i'm kind of kind of done with them now they're, they're, they're not sparking the joy i have marvel legends that i've had for five six seven years they still bring joy to me when i see them i look at them and i'm like yeah you look great whereas the turtles i just i don't know maybe i need to play oh I tell you what, there's a, there's the new Turtles game coming out, like the side-scrolling beat em up. When that comes out, I'll play through that and see if that conjures up the love again. But anyway, I'm procrastinating because we only have one more figure. We've got one more figure to, to unbox. So here's Doom, arguably the weakest of the figures. But he's not that weak because compared to the H Hydra Scientist Supreme, those are the two, the two lesser ones. But finally, to round things out, we've got a good one. We've got a real good one to finish. We have Dormammu, the dread Dormammu. I have been looking forward to cracking this guy open. I, I love the Dormammu buff. He's fantastic. So I'm really psyched to see what this guy looks like. I know, obviously, he's a smaller figure. That's fine. Oh, and again, the writing on the back. A maniacal cosmic being with unquenchable thirst for conquest, Dormammu uses extra-dimensional abilities to invade realms across all planes of existence. It's pretty badass. Yeah, that's that that that's pretty cool. And Troy, you reckon this is the uh, the favorite figure? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what I make of it. It's all it's all well and good if he's your favorite figure. <laughs> but, but what's what's the verdict here? What do we reckon? Same Rodimus, but my favorite is Red Skull. Yeah, Red. Well, Red Skull definitely. Red Skull is fantastic. But yeah, here he is in his little plastic prison. We'll pop him out. It's going to take me so long to tidy up this pigsty when I finish. But hey, it's all my fault. So. Light him up. Can I? I'm, oh, I'll I'll give him some nice backlighting. Don't you worry. I'm I'm gonna display the bejesus out of this guy. Right. So, let's crack him out from the plastic. Hoo ha! And yes, yes. Thrice yes. This guy is the bomb. What's that around his head? That shouldn't be there. Is that like a little? Little plastic, yeah. There we go. Little little plastic schmengel there. There we go. He looks awesome. I really, really like this guy. Oh, I didn't even see in the pictures before. He's <laughs> it's a hairnet. Yep, that that that's what it is. It's it, it's a hairnet. I didn't even see in the pictures his spiky boots. I love these spiky boots. This is the same body mold as the Red Skull. Which is kind of cool. Uh, yes, yes, Philip. That's funny you asked that at the same time. It's the same body mold. And I said the Red Skull is surprisingly big. So Dormammu is equally a chunky dude. So yeah, exactly the same basic body mold. Of course, this one's in purple. And you see he's got the spikes on the boots. He is tarted up like a whore's drawers. But he looks fantastic. 
really fantastic. The black part, oh, the black part does come off, doesn't it? I'm not going to take it off right now because it's just very delicately sat there. And I got to wrap this up because we've been going for an hour now. So just to very quickly go over him, he looks he looks great. I mean, there, I don't, there's not really much else to say. You guys can see him. The only thing I would say that maybe I would quite like it if the flames were a bit more yellow so that they stood out from his face a bit more. But that's a very minor point to make because everything else looks great. And he's got some extra flames and he's got, again, two extra pairs of hands, which makes sense because it's the Red Skull. So they just double up on the hands, which, which also means that he has like a trigger finger. I was like, I'm not sure what you're firing. Maybe, may, maybe he's got extra dimensional happy guns. Just, to, just bring on the happy gun wave. So he, what's quite cool though is he has his, he has the same kind of gripping hands that. Oh, hey Blake, thank you so much. Don't wrap this up. Go for two more hours. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't give me the money and then demand. <laughs> I have to agree to go two hours. Then you make the deal. <laughs> That's not fair. But I, but I will take your money. But I won't go two hours. That's a that's a Homer Simpson quote there. <laughs> I'll take your money, but I'm not gonna plow your driveway. <laughs> I love classic Simpsons, as you know from how much I quote them in all my videos. Classic Simpsons, OSW, and wrestling. That's pretty much what my entire channel is made out of. There's very, very, very little original content from me. Because you don't tune in for that. Do I have Armin Zola? No, I don't have Armin Zola. I would love, oh boy, I would love to get that two pack, the the two pack with Armin Zola and uh, Captain Supreme. Uh, you know what, what? 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 What's the the Hydra Cap Captain Hydra? You know what I'm talking about. The two pack, the Armin Zola Captain America two pack. I would. Love, love, love to have that. And the oh, the most annoying thing is, like so many other figures, I saw it. Hydra Supreme, Philip, thank you. I saw that two-pack on the shelf so many times. The amount of times that I was in Forbidden Planet and I saw the Hydra Cap two-pack on the shelf and I was like, nah, I don't need that. Now I'm just like, oh, Dave. The annoying thing is, you know what else was out at the same time that I completely passed on? Multiple man. It was pretty much Hydra Cap 2 pack and Multiple Man next to each other. And I was just like, nah, don't need either of those. <laughs> Why would I? So that's constantly annoying. I'm I kick myself so hard. And don't get me wrong, like those aren't grails. Like you could go onto eBay and order them right this minute. Like you could literally get them right now. But not for a reasonable price. That's that's the difference between a grail and a figure that's just super expensive. Because, yeah, I don't know what the Hydra Armin Zola 2-pack is going for at the moment, but it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. So we'll we'll sit that one out, which is a shame, but it is what it is. But it, it, it's fine. They're Nazis, after all. We don't need to bolster their ranks. If anything, we need to keep the ranks down. We've got to keep the Nazi numbers down. Got to keep the good people numbers up and the evil entities from other planes of existence. We need, we need more of them because just more like this, please. If I, if I was a Twitter person, if I tweeted, I would tweet Hasbro and say, Hasbro, Dormammu. More like that, please. Because y'all nailed it. You know, you, you got it. You got it. So I, I am very happy. So let me just put his proper hands on. Because right now he's got his trigger fingers on, which make no sense. Actually, he's got he's got two. He he comes as standard with the two trigger fingers attached, which are the, are the least like required hands for Dormammu. It's like why <laughs> why would you be like? <laughs> I don't think I haven't read many comics with Dormammu, but I can't think of many where he would be firing a gun. Just doesn't seem doesn't seem very Dormammu ish to me. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Whoa, I can see you're packing heat. You know what? I'll leave. And then we'll just put the little flame effects in. These flame effects are a lot like the, the swirly ball effects. Like, we have had them so many times. 
And again, like I'm never going to complain about having effects, except I kind of am now. But I'm just saying we've had these a lot. Like some some new, more interesting flame effects would be would be fun. I I would like them. And you know, if the option if the option just to stop my belly aching is to have no flame effects at all, then I will shut up and just take these ones. And <laughs> thank you, Hasbro. Thank you, sir. May I have another? But yeah, it would be nice to see some some different flame effects, and not those boring ones that just fit over the hands either, because we've had plenty of those too. That was that was a big glaring kind of omission where Pyro, the character who is based around his ability to control flames and create amazing creatures out of flames, comes with just two basic flame fists, and it's like, ah, oh, guys, come on, really, you couldn't. You, you, you couldn't give us anything more than that. But still, here we go. We've got Dormammu with his flame hands on here. And that looks great. That looks really great. It looks kind of... Oh, I'm just... I'm knocking his uh, black headpiece off there. It looks it looks campy, but in the best way. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. He's wearing, a like, purple pajamas with spiky red boots. It's so stupid, but it's brilliant. I'm I'm more than happy to to see him rocking this. So yeah, this is great. This whole wave, this whole wave. Can, can we can we do can we do a slow clap? Bravo, bravo, Hasbro, you done did it. Though there are some weaker ones, but there are some very strong ones, and the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Let's just put them new together, and we'll finish with a bath that is nice but not that exciting because like, I, like, as I said at the start of this live stream, which was over an hour ago, <laughs> I've only read one Zenmu story and it was a really cool story, but I just don't have that much connection with the character because it was just one, one story, but it, it was quite interesting. But I, I, it wasn't like I saw him announced and I went, oh, wow, finally, we've got Zenmu. Zen, Zenmu? Yeah, that's it. So... Uh, oh, I tell you what, this is this is a bit of a shame. Look at this. That's a bit annoying. Come on, we, we want a stiffer joint. Oh, there you go. And we've got a stiffer joint. I just didn't put it in properly. There you go. That was that was just me being a jackass. Can you believe it? I know it's 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 hard to comprehend that that Dave might have made a mistake. This guy, this guy right here. <laughs> Someone said it said in a comment on what one of my videos, dude, you're not a clown. You're the whole damn circus. I was like, that's even the most insulting compliment I've ever heard, or the most complimentary insult. Either way, I'll take it. All right, let's just pop his head on. And I, I know Husky. Wow, Dave made a mistake. Get out of town. You don't come here for the accuracy. All right. You can you can you can go to um what's his name? Uh Boog or uh uh Foosh. That was it. Fruish Robo. That guy knows what he is talking about. He knows his stuff. I do not. But I am enthusiastic. And really, isn't that what matters? The answer is no. All right, enough, enough prattling on. Let's get the head on here. Hey! And here is Zemnu out of the packaging. Put it on slower. <laughs> And shivers doing that. Here he is, Zemnu, looking bright and white. Like, oh my goodness! If if I was Zemnu's mum, I wouldn't let him out to play. I'd be like, no, you you are not fighting the Hulk in that white fur. You are going to get grass stains all over you. You're going to come home a mess. Those will never come out. So yeah, I, he's he's fun. He he's pretty. And look, I forgot he has the weird Nintendo control panel on his hand and this is a funny one with, with Zemnu because as I've said multiple times now I've only read the one story and apparently that's not like the most common portrayal of Zemnu so I haven't read any of his early appearances and I think this is maybe based on a slightly earlier kind of look because the, the, the one in Immortal Hulk which is really cool but horribly freaky is yeah uh, the story starts where everyone existing in the world just knows that Zemnu 
is their hero. And he is like a childhood television favorite. He's like Mickey Mouse or Homer Simpson. There's Zemnu merchandise. He's just a marketing phenomenon. Everyone loves Zemnu. And it's a whole mental sort of hypnosis that's taken over the entire world. And actually, he's this evil creature that he has this hole inside his chest that he sucks people inside and they get converted into like robot zombie things that get spat out. Oh, it's it's weird, but it's so cool. And eventually the immortal Hulk, he, I was about to use a bad word, but he messes him up. There, there was going to be some effing and jeffing, but I managed to stop myself. But yeah, you know what? He's fun. He's not going to be something that I look at on the shelf and go like, wow, you look great. Because he's pretty basic, you know? Oh, uh, dude, the Demo Goblin head, we've, we've already done that. You, you should have joined the live stream sooner, man. Let me show you what we're playing around with. Not only do we have the regular Demo Goblin head, but I can't remember where I put it. But for a start, we've got the Toy Biz. The Toy Biz Hobgoblin Demo Goblin head. So don't you worry. He's getting, he's getting fully tricked out. Um, and I also have the Demo Goblin head from the Hobgoblin. But I can't see where I put that because I've totally trashed everything around here. Like, seriously, this, <laughs> this place is such a mess. I, I think that's why I'm procrastinating with ending this live stream because I'm going to have to tidy up after this. But yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with, uh, with the hood. Right, shall we, shall we put these in some sort of order? Shall we actually work out what our favorite is and how we're going to do this? And I want to hear from you guys. So I think... Well, Husky, we haven't ended yet, but also I'm still like it's nine o'clock in the evening and it's still insanely hot up here. Look at the glare you're getting off of my massively receding hairline here. Anyone else who has a receding hairline, did you find out your hairline was receding the same way I did? Did every morning just take longer and longer to wash your face? I was like, oh, I'm, I'm still washing my face. This is crazy. All right. So the figure of the wave best figure of the wave and stop me if i'm wrong because i want to hear your, your your thoughts so that i can discount them <laughs> red skull red skull has got to be <laughs> phil you're you're bald as a mother <laughs> okay I, I i'm saying yeah red oh odd dude you're you're you're, you're saying nay i say the nay but i mean look at that how can you how can you vote against this guy Lady Deathstrike is number one. Get out of here, Diego. With the with the leader of AIM as well being a strong figure. Oh, dude, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can trust you anymore. This is this is some controversial opinions here. Okay, well, you know how I said that I was going to take everyone's uh, thoughts into consideration. Well, it is just consideration, and then I'm just going to take the maniacal rule. I am God's doom of this channel, basically. That's that's why that's why this channel is in the damn state it's in <laughs> because I'm running the show. <laughs> that, that's why we still haven't crossed over ten thousand subscribers yet. This week it's going to happen this week, unless you all unsubscribe just to spite me, which would actually be hilarious. I hope you don't. Please don't. But even I'd be like, yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> now we subscribe. All right. So anyway. Number one, we've got. In fairness, like what 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 other YouTubers tell you to unsubscribe just 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 for just for a joke? Don't see don't, don't see uh, Shadowless Prime doing that. Nope, nope. Only this guy is stupid enough to do that. All right. So Red Skull. Gosh, um, my cheeks are hurting. I'm 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 being so hilarious. Second place. Now, second place is, is harder to decide because we've got Dormammu, who is an excellent figure. Really, really excellent. But then we also have Arcade. So what's it going to be? Who gets the number two spot? The Dread Door Mamu or Arcade? Arcade has two heads. And no, I'm sorry. Not Deathstrike. Death, Deathstrike is nice. She's nice, but that's it. You know, she, there, are no, there are no accessories. I dropped her. You know, that counts against her. And her, her, face, her face is nice, but it's boring. Like, it, it looks a bit determined. That's about it. So I'm seeing, gosh, I'm seeing a lot of arcades. I'm seeing a lot of Dormammu. So let me see. I've got arcade, 
one, two, three, four, five, six arcades. Not the hood, not yet. Oh, okay, it, it's arcade. We were getting a lot of a lot of Dormammus, but uh, it seems like arcade. Arcade gets the number two spot. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. And look, Dormammu gets a, an easy number three. Uh, I'm not going to put these guys next to each other because it's just going to block out the view of me. And you want to see the view of me. So number three, and this is getting, getting easier now. Ugh, I tell you what, though, Arcade has fallen over the most. Out, out of everyone who I've been trying to stand up, Arcade, I'm having to lean forward a lot to actually just keep him upright. But again, it's because it's so hot in here. The plastic is really soft and gummy and they're all falling over. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this, this environment was not made for action figures or human beings, to be honest. Normally at this time of year, I'm in Japan. And you, you know, the thing about Japan is that they have this weather a lot. Therefore, they have air conditioning. In England, we don't have air conditioning. In, in America, where a lot of you guys are, you've got air conditioning. It's glorious. It's like the world's sweetest sin. And I want to go back to Japan just for the air conditioning. So we got one, two... And then Dormammu is number three. So that is a solid. A solid I mean, look, if you've got a wave of figures with these guys as the top three, I'm going to struggle to get him to stand. But don't worry about that. I won't hold it against him. It's not a figure thing. It's just a me not being able to stand him very well type thing. And I don't want to play around with that too much because that's not exciting. Oh, am I wrong? Who's, who's telling me that I'm wrong? Doom? Doom for number three? Seriously? Seriously, you want Doom at number three? Are you guys sure? I mean, he's got... He does have the Thanos skull, I suppose. But I can't. I, I, I can't in good conscience. For, for a start, he's the third... Uh, do you know how to speak Japanese? Choto. Tabun Nihongo Choto Dake. I should do an entire episode in Japanese just to, like, weird people out with no explanation. To just randomly, to randomly come on and do an entire episode in Japanese and be like, wait a minute, am, did, am I taking crazy pills? But yeah, okay, because, no, look, I can't. I can't make Doom number three. That that just sickens me. I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if, if, if I made Doom number three over this guy. Th this guy is, is head and shoulders. Yeah, spiky, I'm with you, man. Doom is not number three. Thanos, what, what am I saying? Thanos, uh, Dormammu. Dormammu absolutely gets number three, even though I might not be able to stand him because it's just a little bit tricky in here with these dynamics we got going on. He'll probably fall backwards at some point. There we go. Okay, that's that's working. I'll see how long he lasts for. He probably won't last for long. All right, I I love this wave because we've got so many figures. And look, I'm not I'm not discounting Zemnu either. Z Zemnu is in the running. But I just, I just haven't got to him as far as my favorites are concerned. He's big, but that's about all there is for it at, at, at the moment. So really spiky, Dormammu was your worst. But look how colorful he is. He's colorful. He's covered in flames. That alone is amazing. So no, I, oh God, I can't agree with you on that one. But now it's down to Hydra Supreme, Lady Death, excuse me, Lady Death Strike and The Hood. And look, I want it to be the hood. The hood is so silly. He's got he's got the 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 ding dong guns, and the fact that throughout this live stream, we've actually coined the term ding dong guns. I think that in itself deserves some consideration. But a lot of people are saying not the hood. Maybe, maybe not the hood. Oh, okay, well you know what I I respect that. I respect that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I understand about the red flames on Dormammu. All right, so I tell you what, if it's not the hood, then it comes down to Scientist Supreme, Lady D, or Zemnu. All right, you can only you can only pick one. Who's it going to be? I've got one one vote for Death Strike. One vote. Do I hear any more? Is it, is it Death Strike? We're going Death Strike. All right. Yep, Death Strike. Death Strike. Well done. Well done. Deathstrike is officially the number four character in the wave. Will she stand? She probably won't stand. I don't know. I don't know why I'm making life so hard for myself trying to get these figures to stand while we're doing this. 
But hey, it, it's half the fun. Also, we've been going for well over an hour now, so we might as well just just enjoy the party while it lasts. Hey, I mean, come on, how is how is this for a way to kick off the week? This this is a, this is a, a pretty badass way to spend a Monday a Monday evening. I'm definitely gonna have to do this for all my unboxings in the future because this this has been really good fun. Normally with unboxings, I just rip into them and then make a video later. But doing it this way with you guys, this is it's been a good time. It's been a sweaty time, but a good time. All right, we're down to the last three figures now. We got Scientist Supreme. We've got Ding Dong Man falling out of his hood. And we have Zemnu. Now, Plip Plop, you've got your lineup there. And you've got Red Skull, Red Skull at the front, which is, you know, I respect that. Arcade way at the back, though. I love how random these, you know, selections are or how subjective they all are. Oh, dude, are you fasting? Oh man, uh, stay strong. Uh, best of best of luck to you with with, with that. I I have a lot of friends who are who are, are doing um, the fasting, and that's tough. So if I can help you through it, and look, you don't have to watch the live streams. I have I have like hundreds of videos. <laughs> like you will not run out of stuff to watch. Go go back into the archives. Watch some of the old ones. Watch some of the original ones. They were really bad. I've come a long way. Or I haven't. It's entirely that that that's more up to you. But anyway, for the number five slot. Oh wait. So did we say so so is is Doom? Is Doom the next one? Is Doom number five? Is that what you're going for? Because I don't really want him to be number five, but I also don't want to defy you guys. You've been giving me great banter. You've been chatting along. You've been enjoying the stream. You've been paying me money. I can't I can't fly in the face of public opinion if you're saying Doom, but I'm getting some hood votes as well. So Doom or Hood. Doom or hood, doom or hood, hood, doom, doom, hood, hood, doom, doom, hood. Who's it gonna be? Doom last. You know what? I'm gonna go doom. I'm, I'm, I'm even against it myself slightly, but I, I, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of chatter for doom, and I wanna, I wanna respect that. So doom is next. Now the final three. Who's who's the first of the losers? <laughs> so now it's down to Hood, Scientist Supreme, or Zemnu. Who's the best out of these three? Which character is the best one? Hood is Hood isn't trash. Hood's kind of hilarious. Okay, you we think, we think the scientist or Zemnu? Scientist or oh, 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 oh. I, it looks like scientist. It looks like the scientist supreme. So therefore, the the battle, the battle for worst figure of the line. And in fairness, this is the worst of a great bunch of figures. So this is the worst of the best because this is the best line. This is the best wave that Hasbro have done in a long, long time. So prop, props, props, and kudos to that. So is Hood going dead last? Is Hood with the ding dong dun, the ding dong guns going last? And then we got Zemnu before him. Zemnu's time has come. All right. Zemnu, you're the penultimate figure. And the Hood, you are the worst of a great bunch of figures. And <laughs> Hood is dead last. Guys, that was the villain's wave. Oh my goodness. I have never taken so long to open a single wave of figures. That was fun. That was really, really good fun. Thank you so much. I think at one time we had about 130 people watching, which is really bonkers for this channel. So that was awesome. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to go and tidy up this room that I have just trashed doing this. I'm going to pose some of these figures. I'm going to make a proper review video, but I'll bear all of what we've said in mind and see if I can remember the order. That we put the that we we put those in. Um, thank you so much, everyone who donated. Everyone uh, who donated to the uh, super chats. That's incredibly awesome of you, and I love you dearly. But I love all of you dearly because if you're watching this channel, you're probably good people. <laughs> all right. So, um, oh, room reveal. All right, I'll give you a, a a room reveal. It's a a bit of a bit of a state. A lot, a lot of boxes. A lot of boxes. A lot of, a lot of trash. Yeah, it's it's a, a bit of a mess. So I have to go and deal with this. 
And you guys, thank you. And again, as always, thank you so much for all of the support. You guys are awesome. Before we did the live stream, we had about 100 plus people watching the premiere, which was so awesome, doing the top 100 most requested figures. We got the second part of that because there were only 50 figures in that list. And that ran for nearly an hour. I'm... I might not be the best YouTuber, but I'm probably the most verbose who just doesn't know when to edit himself. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior.